The Law of One, Book One, Part 31, Session 15, Continued. Questioner, how does an individual go about balancing himself? What is the first step? I am raw. The steps are only one, that is, an understanding of the energy centers which make up the mind-body-spirit complex. This understanding may be briefly summarized as follows. The first balancing is of the Malkuth, or Earth, vibratory energy complex, called the Red Ray Complex. An understanding and acceptance of this energy is fundamental. The next energy complex which may be blocked is the emotional or personal complex, also known as the orange ray complex. This blockage will often demonstrate itself as personal eccentricities or distortions with regard to self-conscious understanding or acceptance of self. The third blockage resembles most closely that which you have called ego, it is the yellow ray or solar plexus center. Blockages in this center will often manifest as distortions toward power manipulation and other social behaviors concerning those close and those associated with the mind-body-spirit complex. Those with blockages in these first three energy centers or nexi will have continuing difficulties in ability to further their seeking of the law of one. The center of heart or green ray is the center from which third density beings may springboard, shall we say, to infinite intelligence. Blockages in this area may manifest as difficulties in expressing what you may call universal love or compassion. The blue ray center of energy streaming in this center, which for the first time is outgoing as well as in pouring. Those blocked in this area may have difficulty in grasping the spirit mind complexes of its own entity and further difficulty in expressing such understandings of self. Entities blocked in this area may have difficulties in accepting communication from other mind body spirit complexes. The next center is the pineal or indigo ray center. Those blocked in this center may experience a lessening of the influx of intelligent energy due to manifestations which appear as unworthiness. This is that of which you spoke. As you can see, this is but one of many distortions due to the several points of energy influx into the mind-body-spirit complex. The indigo ray balancing is quite central to the type of work which revolves around the spirit complex, which has its influx, then into the transformation or transmutation of third density to fourth density, it being the energy center receiving the least distorted outpourings of love light from intelligent energy and also the potential for the key to the gateway of intelligent infinity. The remaining center of energy influx is simply the total expression of the entity's vibratory complex of mind, body, and spirit. It is as it will be, balanced or imbalanced, has no meaning at this energy level, for it gives and takes in its own balance. Whatever the distortion may be, it cannot be manipulated as can the others and, therefore, has no particular importance in viewing the balancing of an entity. Questioner, you previously gave us information on what we should do in balancing. Is there any publishable information you can give to us now about particular exercises or methods of balancing these energy centers? I am raw. The exercises given for publication seen in comparison with the material now given are in total a good beginning. It is important to allow each seeker to enlighten itself rather than for any messenger to attempt in language to teach learn for the entity, thus being teach learner and learn teacher. This is not in balance with your third density. We learn from you. We teach to you. Thus, we teach learn. If we learned for you, this would cause imbalance in the direction of the distortion of free will. 
There are other items of information allowable. However, you have not yet reached these items in your line of questioning, and it is our belief feeling complex that the questioner shall shape this material in such a way that your mind-body-spirit complexes shall have entry to it. Thus, we answer your queries as they arise in your mind complex. Questioner, yesterday you stated that the harvest is now. There is not at this time any reason to include efforts along this line of longevity, but rather to encourage efforts to seek the heart of self. This which resides clearly in the violet ray energy field will determine the harvest of the mind-body-spirit complex. Could you tell us the best way to seek the heart of self? I am Ra. We have given you this information in several wordings. However, we can only say that the material for your understanding is the self, the mind-body-spirit complex. You have been given information upon healing, as you call this distortion. This information may be seen in a more general context as ways to understand the self, the understanding, experiencing, accepting, and merging of self with self and other self, and finally with the creator, is the path to the heart of self. In each infinitesimal part of yourself resides the one in all of its power. Therefore, we can only encourage these lines of contemplation or prayer as a means of subjectively, objectively using or combining various understandings to enhance the seeking process. Without such a method of reversing the analytical process, one could not integrate into unity the many understandings gained in such seeking.